Hello friends, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Today we are going to discuss the topic on the coordination compound and, it, and the name of the topic is optical isomerism. As I told earlier that the coordination compounds are having two types of isomerism. First one is geometrical. As we already discussed, if you, hadn't, if you haven't seen that topic, you can search on our channel but now we are going to discuss the optical isomerism when we say optical isomerisms in complex compounds we say the molecules which do not which are not superimposed on their mirror images show optical isomerism if they superimposable then they are not optical isomerism we will say this one is my hand another hand is superimposed to it now they are superimposable so they are not geometrical isomer so and so so they are not optical isomer if its mirror image does not superimpose we will call it as optical isomer is possible now they are superimposable so they are not optical isomers similarly we will draw the structure of the complex and place a mirror in front of that complex if the mirror image is superimposed then we will say that they are not optical isomerisms they are not optical isomers if they are not superimposed we will call it as optical isomers so I'll write optical isomers are those which are not superimposable superimposable imposable if they are superimposable they are not they are not optical if it is not over here then it is optical if if it is not over here then we will say not optical clear uh, or i can say they are chiral in nature they are chiral in nature they are chiral molecules such molecules these types of molecules can rotate the plane polarized light polarized light basically a device which uh, which is very costly here we will fill that liquid solution of compound in that machine after passing the polarized light that is unidirectional light for the time being you will just save what is plane polarized light it is a unidirectional light for the time being whenever a light is passed through that solution if the light rotates the plane of polarized light to the right or I can say if the isomer if the solution rotates the plane polarized light to the right we will call it as dextro rotatory dextro rotatory and it is designated as small d if the solution rotates we will call solution as isomer if its isomer rotates the plane polarized light to the left we will call it as levero we will call it as levero and it is represented by small l these optical isomers have identical physical and chemical properties except their behavior towards plane polarized light why they are having the different behavior regarding plane, plane polarized light because they are because they are different in space arrangement so that is why optical isomers is a part of stereo isomerism which is also called as space isomerism the two active the two active forms which are mirror images to each other are called an isomers i mean to say if the solution rotates the light it is called optically active if, if it does not rotate the light 
we will call it as inactive and the ability of the solution which rotate which rotate it means they are having the active form and their active form each other are also called as an isomer and their active forms active forms means they are having the two types to, to, uh, to rotate clockwise or anti clockwise both are commonly known as an isomers they are called an isomers which are having the ability to rotate the light unlike geometrical isomers optical isomers is not noticed in compound which are having the coordination number 4 so we can say coordination number 4 is not coordination number 4 is not noticed in this one is a sign of equal is not no, noticed in geometrical isomer geometrical isomer isomer having coordination number of 4 that is both, both tetrahedral and scale planar but it has the octahedral complexes what does optical isomers are having optical isomers are applicable which are having the coordination number 6 or I can say octa they form the octahedral complexes the things as I told you need to be learned complexes the following types as of geometric isomers optical isomers are also having their own types the first type basically there are its there are four types we will need to uh, learn that all types the first one the first type of opt optical isomers we are having the octahedral complex with metal line and overall coordination number is six with the ligands we will call it as ma2 b2 c2 type when this type of octahedral is formed giving you the example this type of compound exists in the optical isomer or I can say exist as optical isomers when we draw a structure in octahedral form after drawing the structure we will place mirror in front of this structure then we will draw the mirror image we will draw the mirror image make sure that coordination compound coordination number 6 is followed by the optical isomer not the 4 2 is not possible we are having the pyridine along with the when we place a mirror when we place a mirror of this solution what we will see for a mirror image we see left as right and right as left we, we will call it as lateral inversion we will call it as lateral inversion so how we can see the see the structure we see the structure in this form top and bottom not change top and bottom remain the same this type of a mirror is placed in front of this isomer now we will call it as this type is having the this type is having the octahedral comp this uh, optically isomer next type we are having the another type octa Hedral. We, we will call it as octahedral. 
why they are having optically active because when we but when we superimpose on each other they will not superimposable how they are not superimposable if i just place this cis form sorry when i place this this isomer over this it is like this when is place in this form we will say that these chlorine do not overlap these two chlorine do not overlap each other so we will call it as none of the elements will overlap each other so we will call it as nh3 so we will call it as optically active if they overlap each other we will say they are superimposable so they are not active so they are not optically isomerism so they are not a part of optically isomerism similarly we are having the octahedral complexes another type we are having the after learning this type you will understand that except these types none of will show the optical isomerism another type we are having the and the fourth type we are having the, the optical isomers is having the only four types maa3 type here m is metal where aa bc they are all acting as a ligand if uh, a compound is given to us that for example a complex is given to us and we need to identify whether it is an optical isomer or not so uh, this type of optical isomers is also a part of geometric isomers is also a part of geometric isomers so geometric isomers forms in the cis form as well as trans form we never make this uh, trans form because the trans because the trans isomers overlaps each other that is they are su uh, superimposable so we will not draw so in trans form optical isomer is never ever possible in any compound wherever when we see about the cis form when we draw this is form of this compound how we can draw we can draw in this form this form is called as cis form when this kind of form this one is the form of this one is the isomer of this compound this complex we will call it as dextro dextro means which will rotate which will rot uh, clockwise which will rotate the polar slide in the clockwise when we place a mirror in front of this dextro form but we will found the opposite it is left we call it as lateral inversion what we will found we will found lateral inversion is happening so when we superimpose these two compounds in this way they will they will not superimposable so they are optically active if this compound rotates the polarized light toward in a clockwise then this then this compound will rotate in the anti clockwise if if it is in, if this compound is doing so so we will call it as optically active we will, we will call it as optically active the most important point why we are not using the trans isomers you will say with the two points there the trans isomers is having the trans isomers are 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 having the plane of symmetry plane of symmetry symmetry plane of symmetry and the second point that they are superimposable super imposable because of plane of symmetry they are having plane of symmetry they are superimposable so the compounds which are superimposable are not active in nature what does superimpose uh, what does plane of symmetry means 
if I am having this this page, if I'll tear this page from the center and overlap this page to one another, we will we, what we will find found, we will find that these these two halves will actually properly superimposable. So if they are superimposable, what we need to do, we, we need to tear this compound from the center. Clear? Uh, as of uh, when we tear the page from the center, we will what we found that both are superimposable. They are overlap each other, so they are they are having the plane of symmetry. They are having the plane of symmetry. If they are not superimposable, we will call it as they are not having the plane of symmetry. And but 